Hey guys, Brandon here from First Baptist Mount Shasta with a weekly update for September 27th, 2018. We started our series on, on prayer called Lord Teach Us to Pray a couple weeks ago. And, uh, and this week, we were venturing through the Lord's Prayer in Scripture. And it's one of those prayers that most of us are very familiar with, um, especially if we've grown up in the church or grown up around maybe a grandma who really loved Jesus and wanted us to learn the Lord's Prayer. Um, so it's really fun to go into it. But last week, this previous Sunday, we covered the first, the very first part of the prayer. And when Jesus says, when you pray, you pray like this, our Father in heaven. So we stopped there and we covered that for the entire service. And there are three real good implications there and, and, and foundational truths that, that I found really difficult this week as I've gone to the Lord in prayer to try to pray through. And, I, and maybe you have too, but I think it's really rewarding. Uh, one, it says our. It starts with our, right? It doesn't say my, it says our. Because there's, there's such a great uh, testimony and great unity in the body of Christ. That, do you understand that? That if you're in Christ, if you have trusted Christ in faith to be your Savior, that you are not an individual in that. You're not isolated in that. That you have been grafted into the family of God by Jesus Christ. That, that he is actually our Father. And if there's such a, such a unity when we pray, we can know that we aren't alone. The next word it says is what? Our Father, right? So he's a Father. And, and I know this can be tough for some people to deal with. Sometimes we don't want to we don't want to pray to God uh, as Father because we have a real real rough childhood or we had a bad dad or maybe an absent dad or maybe you, you see a lot of absent fathers or whatever it might be. Uh, but here's, here's what I said on Sunday and, and what really makes sense to me is that our earthly fathers or, or earthly other earthly fathers are not the example of what a good father should be, right? Or at least the ultimate example. Jesus is really the ultimate example of what a good father is. And when we, when we pray to God as father, we're, we're acknowledging that he is a, the greatest father, the most compassionate, the most gracious, the, the best discipliner that there is. Uh, and and we, have, we have that in him. So we can be encouraged by that. Certainly uh, as a father myself, and, and you know, many of you have fathers or are maybe are fathers, um, you, you and I should strive to be fathers like God as a father to us. So uh, please don't try to set someone else, an earthly father, as an example of what the heavenly father is for us. So we pray to our father, and it says in heaven. You know, not only are we praying to uh, God as a father, and knowing that he's compassionate and ready to hold his children and, and grab their heart and nurture their heart and love them and, 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 and just be tender with them and, 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 and firm when he needs to be, but we also are knowing that that Father, our, our Heavenly Father, is the God of the universe, whose throne is in heaven and is, is far above everything and anything we could ever imagine. Like the power and resources of, of the entire universe are at his disposal and, and his power is what has created that and spoke that into existence. So we have the God of the universe, the, God, the very God of the universe, is, is a personal father as well. So that should just blow our minds and, and encourage us as we go to the Lord in prayer, starting starting with exalting God and then going before him as a humble child. So really encouraged by that. I hope you are too. You can read along in Matthew uh, chapter six if you want. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be going to the next line this week. Holy, or your name is to be revered as holy. Uh, that should be a good time. A couple things just real quick. First of all, our church uh, puts on a community dinner called Thursday Night Dinner. Those dinners are starting tonight. Today is Thursday. So tonight at 5 p.m. at First Baptist, there's a free community dinner. Maybe you know someone that kind of is lonely and, and maybe could get out of the house and come down and have some fellowship. It's a free meal, great opportunity to connect, great opportunity to, to have a fellowship with other people. But also we, we like to share the gospel. We, we talk about the hope we have in Christ there as well. So that's happening starting this week, every Thursday uh, through the school year. Uh, secondly, this weekend we have our disaster relief training happening here uh, at the church on Saturday, really early in the morning. Uh, we want you to be part of that. And maybe you haven't been, been able to sign up yet. Maybe you've been going to the, the portal online to, to register and you can't do that. Well, registration online is closed now, but you can still come and register the morning of and be a part of that training. So we'd love to have you be part of that. If you have more questions about that, uh, please feel, fi feel free to call the church office and we'll get you signed up. But looking forward to seeing you guys uh, this week and this weekend. Have a blessed week. God bless you guys.